Hello again, David Shelton here with Imagine Media Solutions, and we're going to be talking about how to set up your email client for a secure connection. For those of you that have, uh, that want to get a secure email connection that has a little bit more encryption on there, uh, we're going to do this a little bit differently than uh, what we did before, which was just to have the mail.yourdomain.com. We're going to do this a little bit differently, but you're going to see that it's not that different at all. So I'm going to go back to my webmail setting, and uh, th this is where we can get all of our email setting. So go, go to yourdomain.com com slash webmail and in this case I, I went to uh, made in the shade blind dot com slash web, webmail and I've gotten this screen and so I'm going to enter in my password And it would help sometimes if I remembered my password, but that's quite all right. Now, uh, so I went to my, I'm back to my main screen. I'm going to go back to MIG, configure mail client. And once again, I'm getting all of my information that I would normally have for this particular event. In this case, I, I've got my auto configure, but here I've, I've got to take a look at some of my primary settings. The SSL settings are for using the secure ImagineMediaSolution.com web web server that we use. And this, by the way, is a server that I use for all of my emails. So if you have any issues with it, chances are I will be the first to know about it. So uh, the just go to Imagine. To change your incoming mail server to ims1.imaginemediasolutions.com and your outgoing mail server to the exact same thing, ims1.imaginemediasolutions.com and make sure on your outgoing server that the server requires authentication and it's going to port 465. All of the other settings should be roughly the same. The username, once again, is your is your email address in my case is David plus imagine made in the shade blinds.com instead of the at sign it uses a plus sign very very important so if you have any issues with that check first check your your mail server username this is different from the email address that is being sent that you're using for your communication this is your username for accessing your mail online and through any mail client. The mail server username will be your name, your email address with the plus sign instead of the at sign. Your incoming mail server for a secure setting will be ims1.imaginemediasolutions.com. Again, that's ims1.imaginemediasolutions.com. The outgoings.com. Your, ser your outgoing server will require authentication using the exact same access information and credential for your incoming, which will be your your username, in my case, David plus made in the shade blinds .com, and my password, which is secret. I'm not going to tell you that. And of course, the port will be port 465. And that is how to use our secure email settings. If you have any questions for your specific browser and for your specific mail client, you can also use the auto configure for either the, in this case, the auto configure mail app for SSL for any operating system before Lion you know, on Mac. If you're using Outlook Express, you have Outlook Express for POP3, for IMAP, and if you're using an, if you're using a cell phone and your desktop or laptop together for your email, I strongly recommend that you use IMAP. The SSL settings will, are the ones you want to use for the secure settings, and this will almost every time be using the IMS1.ImagineMediaSolutions.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And be sure to give us a call at 931-648-1788 or you can reach us at twshelson at imaginemediasolutions.com or on the web at imaginemediasolutions.com. Thank you.